What's up, Matt Miller? Oh, you know. <laughs> oh, you know. Mm. This and that. Just right. finished the largest mural of your career. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Thanks for that, by the way. You're welcome. Yeah. We're so happy. Yeah. Um, yeah, 10 years ago when we opened Hazel Tree, July 2010, we had a dear friend, uh, Kelly Hayes Ty, come from New York and paint the first Akron Tree mural. And um, we loved it. It was, uh, it was kind of like it, it launched a whole bunch of stuff, mm -hmm. not only for us, but for Akron mm -hmm. and public art. And it was just so exciting. And, um, you know, 10 years later, the sun has faded. <laughs> the mural horribly. We had to get the building uh, retucked because there was, you know, so there's mortar joints everywhere. You saw it, mm -hmm. um, and uh, and it just felt like the right thing to do. Like what we wanted to do was not touch that one up. It was bring a new piece of public art to our city and our neighborhood. And so um, when I don't know that we ever told you this, but when we were talking about that and we made the decision because we thought about it for a long time. Like, are people going to, you know, freak out, you know, uh -huh. because we're painting over uh -huh. one of people's favorite murals in town. Um, and we just decided like they might freak out initially, but um, really how exciting to be able to bring a whole new piece of art. So we decided to do that. And then we immediately, all five of us at Table Tree were like, yep, Matt Miller. So thank you for yeah, being yeah. Um, the person that we could trust with that, that we knew would just knock it out of the park and bring the most colorful, incredibly beautiful and inspiring next tree to us. So oh, yeah. thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. And I just really want to take a moment to, to um, I'm just going to speak to the camera now because I know it's over there. But um, the Great Streets Facade Grant Program, we really appreciate the City of Akron and the Great Streets Program for being uh, a matching grant that uh, allowed us uh, to, or assisted us in bringing this next mural to life and also changing our, our awning that uh, it was due for that as well. So super grateful that we had, you know, support, had a little alley yeah. uh, assist uh, with that. So that was great. Um, and I just wanted to, um, like ask you, can you explain your process? Because I think people really love to hear about an artist's process. So, so what was it like for you? Um, well, I still remember it was Earthquaker Day last year when yes. and John approached me about it. And we had just finished up Bounce shortly before that, I believe. Mm -hmm. um, and this has been an iconic mural, you know, the Akron Roots. Um, it was also on my bucket list of buildings I eventually wanted to get my hands on. And so I just knew right away. I mean, there was no question about it that I was going to say yes. So, um, and then there was some time and then there were some questions with the state of the world of when or if and how it was going to happen. And, um, and then it all came together pretty quickly. Um, but I also remember you had messaged me. Oh, it was pretty close to a deadline for the grant, I think. And the grant was all written up and proposal was all written up and we just needed some thumbnails. Um, and we had talked about general concept, but not a lot of specific details. And so right there on the spot, I threw together a handful of quick sketches that we were able to, you know, attach to the proposal and, mm -hmm. you know, luckily that got approved and everything went through. Um, but really, I don't know, with most things, I, I tend to work kind of general to more specific and we knew we wanted a tree so that first handful of images were very simple, quick sketches that kind of got the vibe and flow rolling. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I remember it was two parameters, a tree and no blips. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Thank God. <laughs> yeah, so that's, that was easy. Um, and thank you for that. Yeah. yeah. Um, but then, yeah, as we talked more about it, we knew we wanted 
you know, not to reiterate the old acronym back. You know, no, no blimps, no. No redoing know, the first tree. No redoing you know, the like first a one. Totally and, different spin on um, the tree. Yeah. And you know, I think it's appropriate. It was an Akron roots mural, and we got to replace it with like the fruits that have come from ten years of establishing those roots and Akron's oh. history of of strong roots, but. You know, specifically with Hazel Tree, um, I think that was a really great foundation to start with. And now, not just you, but myself and other artists are in a in a spot where we're seeing that the fruits of the labors and um, things look a little more bright and optimistic. And not that I could have done it a different way, but you know, was um, I think the mural does a good job of of celebrating. You know that that growth and mm -hmm. the vibrancy of our art scene, the West Hill neighborhood, and, mm -hmm. and the growth of Akron as a whole. Yeah, so. yeah. I mean, geographically, we're positioned in the you know the best spot in Akron to welcome people like you know into the West Hill neighborhood, and um, I just love that you embraced that notion of um, West Hill and the branches and. It's, yeah. it's just so cool. I just love how it turned out. I, I mean, do too. And actually, I love that it's, it, you know, we didn't want it to be in your face screaming, welcome to West Hill, or, right. you know, and an advertisement for the neighborhood. And I think, right. you know, the way we came up with it doing a little more subtly, um, I think it works really well and it's really exciting when I hear other people that have looked at it and seen it. And it's not until a little bit later, the next time they come back, that they that they catch it. Yep. Um, especially to me because it's so obvious in my head right. from designing it. Because it's like, once you see it, then you yeah. then you see it. But um, until you see it, you don't see it. But there's been so <laughs> many people that have said, you know, I've come back a couple times, and today was the first time like I saw that it said West Hill, mm -hmm. and I think that's it's really it's a really good feeling to know that we accomplished exactly what we wanted to. Well, you accomplished it. <laughs> Thank you for figuring out how to do yeah. that. I mean, and, and I really wanted to commend you for that because the same, multiple people go, I just now saw West Hollywood yeah. Branches. And, and that is exactly what we wanted. Yeah. It uh, Until then, it is a beautiful, giant, colorful, you know, happy, uh, expressive tree. Yeah. And yeah, so yeah. cool. Um, Okay, I also wanted to know, like, if you had like a, uh, a certain moment or a couple of moments throughout the throughout the process, which really did start. Was that a year plus ago? Was that? Yeah. Um, wow. Yeah. yeah, it would have been like late. Yeah. Late summer. Yeah. A year ago. Yeah, because we did know that we were gonna. We did know that we were going to, you know, need to to do something, and then we, when we decided that, um, it was. Uh, it was cool to go, that's, you know, our 10th anniversary is next summer. Let's do it then. And then in 10 more years, mm -hmm. we'll have another artist paint another Well, I hope tree. I raised the bar for me. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome. Yeah. It's awesome. So were there a couple of, you know, moments throughout the process that were your favorite moments? Yeah. Um, you know, working process, just as it came together, there, there are several just little moments where, where something clicked, whether it was in the design with the West Hill lettering, um, you know, and that finally coming together in a way I felt good about. Um, or even, you know, I submitted multiple color palettes mm -hmm. and to be met with, you know, not just excitement about all of them, but that everybody seemed to lead towards the ones that I was most excited about uh, without us talking about that. You know, I wanted it to be, um, I wanted honest feedback and not catered to, to me. Um, but I think the palette we settled on was the first one that I really connected with. And then we made some minor tweaks and I think they made them mm -hmm. an even better image. Um, and then just as I was working on the mural, you know, there'd be a slow day that I didn't feel like I got as much accomplished as I wanted. And then the next day things would just kind of explode and make a huge leap forward. Um, 
and it just felt good. I mean, honestly, it felt good coming in every day. Um, it was so fun having you here and, for like almost a month. It was yeah. great. What did it take you, three weeks? Three weeks, yeah. Three weeks, uh, five or six days a week, depending, and mm -hmm. between eight and ten hours a day. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, you really did look out with the weather. Yeah. You had great weather throughout the time. Yeah, I think a little bit of rain, but then I got the lift. Yeah. Which was fine because I mentally just wasn't ready. Mm -hmm. um, and then there was a morning of really heavy fog, and that allowed me to go catch up on some materials I needed to collect and stuff. And otherwise, it was, yeah, sunshine every yeah. day. So. Awesome. Yeah. That's when you know it's right. When So at our team meetings, and you would send us these different color palettes, all five of us would have like, you know, these different thoughts, but then we would all just kind of go, that's it. So I love that. I love that it aligns with what your favorites were because that's when you know what's right. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. like that's how the world yeah. seems to work. The universe works in that way. And like, yeah, so that's really cool. Yeah. I think another really cool experience with this, um, not only was it the largest mural I've ever done, but it was the most public in the working process, being right here on Market Street. Mm -hmm. um, and I typically don't like, you know, performing. I don't like feeling like I'm on stage, but I got over it really quickly. And then just the, the daily foot traffic, even that would walk by, that there were regulars of all walks of life. Yeah, because the bus stop is right yeah, here. And I would have a morning conversation with the same handful of people that mm -hmm. kind of checked in every morning. Oh, I love that. And, you know, developing. A kind of relationship with them but also seeing their excitement as it came together or the way they personally connected to it um it was just it was an incredible feeling so awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. uh do you have a favorite detail in the mural um that's hard i mean i would say i do but a lot of them are they're little things that i don't think anybody else well, would see so yeah, um just through the process of being a very porous deep mortar space you know there are mm -hmm. times that you know i wouldn't get as as solid of coverage with the colors that i wanted for the the mural as a whole um that's really hard to pick pick a favorite because i just i really felt like everything came together really well. And every mm -hmm. time I'd add that next step, um, it made everything look better together, mm -hmm. you know? Um, so picking out a favorite detail, I can't say for sure, but I know my favorite part was once I started going back in with my black line work, mm -hmm. um, and being that I saved that to the very end, there was always this little question of, I know it looks good here in this small scale, but like, what's it gonna do when I, um, <laughs> and then just that, like the way it clicked and everything really popped and pulled together. Um, yeah, it was pretty awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were all gaga about that flower on the right, that yeah. like weird trippy yeah. uh, flower on the bottom right of the mural. Like cool. everyone was and like, that is, that is one of my favorites. Um, <laughs> that flower. We yeah. don't have that flower. Yeah. Because that was cool. Like the flowers from this one, the sun from that one, the, the tree color mm -hmm. from this one. And then like you putting it all together. That was just so yeah. cool. Um, and, you know, we, we would have been thrilled with like the, whatever you would have given us. But it was really fun for us as a team to, to be able to talk about like what truly feels ultimately like hazel tree mm -hmm. through, you know, through what Matt is offering. Um, you know, us as, as those color options. That was really fun. We love color around here. Yeah. Can you tell? I've noticed yeah. that. I like working <laughs> with you. Yeah. So yeah, that was really fun. Yeah, and that's cool too, because I think the the feedback and the minor edits, you know, I mean, mm -hmm. you were all really awesome about letting me do my thing. And where you did add some feedback, I really think helped create a stronger image mm -hmm. that that felt even more like me than than I had expected, you know? Um, it's kind of like knowing my work, you know? I, I 
you pulled elements out that maybe I wouldn't have necessarily brought into this piece, but they belong here. So it's it was good calls. Yeah, so. We make a good team. We do. Yeah, we need to keep doing it. All right. Yeah. I'm in. All right. We do. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks yeah. for taking some time. Um, I love watching stuff like this, hearing about people's processes um, and inspirations. And so um, hopefully people will enjoy this. And thank you, my friend. Thank you. All right. Yeah.